This is the skeleton of the right foot. This surface is part of the talus. So if we look at this surface, this surface, and this surface, we're looking at ankle joint. So let's take a look at the tarsal bones. The talus is obviously a major tarsal bone. The heel bone, that's this, it's a calcaneus. The other tarsal bones include navicular, the cuboid, which is kind of almost a cube, medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform bones. So these seven bones are considered the tarsal bones. Distal to the tarsal bones, you'll find five metatarsals. One, two, three, four, and five, the fifth metatarsal. Distal to them are the five toes. This is the great toe, this is a little toe. The great toe is made up of two bones, a proximal and distal phalanx. The other toes contain three bones, although they're very small, proximal, middle, and distal phalanx. Let's take a look at a loose skeleton of the foot and see if we can learn anything new that we can't tell in the one that's all wired up. This is the talus. You can see that it should rest on the calcaneal bone. So your heel bone basically has small bumps on the bottom of it. This is the posterior or back side of your heel bone. Resting on top of it is the talus. The talus forms a joint with your leg because it forms a joint with a tibia and fibula. So the ankle joint really contains three bones, fibula and tibia. And now that the other tarsal bones are sort of spread out a little bit, you can see their shape a little bit better. As I said, here's the cuboid, a bit of a cube. Here's the navicular, almost a disc. And these are the three cuneiform bones.